what it do, what it do. Let it do what it do, what it do. <laughs> Gervonta Davis. I'm definitely a face of Boston. Absolutely. They up the level, I'm going to up the level with them every time. I mean what I say, lines only for All right, all right, all right. Your boy is back in the saddle. All right, all right. I'm on time today, I think, right? Um, well, I'm I'm a little bit late. All right, a little bit late. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, y'all. I'm trying. I'm running back and forth, but hey, man, the party don't stop. The grind don't stop. It's keep going and going and going. We got a lot of fights coming down the pipe right now. Man, oh man. Now, I know you saw this thumbnail up there, right? And we got to talk about this, right? Cause, because Canelo Everest, he believes that he will fight anybody, anywhere, at any given time. That he is, is boxing. He's the, great, the greatest Mexican fighter that has ever been. Now, that's quote, unquote. Now, I don't know about you all, but Mexican fighters, they have a certain reputation they like to keep. They believe they are the baddest in the land. Well, Canelo Everett, he kind of set the bar high, like I said on a thumbnail. He's trying to set the bar high, so other words, is he a cherry picker? Or, 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 or maybe they've been a biz. He he pretty much is too much for him. Or is he scared? Now, I know. I get it. Everybody say, well, KQ. Ain't no fight scared of another fighter. Well, you a lie. Because I think Canelo Everest is scared of David Benavides. I mean, literally scared of this man. Now, only way he's going to fight him is like he said, uh, hey, uh, how about 100 million, 200 million, or 2 million, whatever. Well, and he'll do that and go ahead and retire after he lose. But who said he would lose? See, this is what I'm getting at. Canelo, Everest, what makes you think you're going to lose? Because you do have a puncher's chance. At least that's what I hear. Now, I might be crazy, but I believe so. But let's see who all in here, all right? Let's see who all in here so far, all right? I appreciate everybody coming in. Don't forget to hit that like button, baby. All right, let's see who all up in here. We got AJ64, not four, four up in here. What's going on? Icon Canadian is up in here. What it do? What, 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 what it do? All right, all right, all right. We got D-Ray Live on the drive. All right, what's going on, D-Ray? And don't forget, y'all, I will be on the Rise podcast tonight. All right? I was invited to come back. I don't know. All right? There must be something about KQ they like. I don't know. But anyway, all right, we got a Ricky E245. It's in the building. What's going on, Ricky E? All right? Oh, Big Block is up in here. What's going on, Big Block? What's going on, Ed Buckley? What's going on with you, E? Huh? All right, all right. Yes, sir. Now, we got Mike Big Boxer. What's going on, old school? What's going on, my man? All right. Yes, sir. Savon is up in here. I ain't seen you in a while, baby. But I guess you got that bell money, and you all good now. All right? Good. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. All right? We got, oh, my guy, my man. Oh, Trick Note T up in here. What's going on, Trick Note? T is up in here. What's going on, Trey? What's going on, baby? All right. Yes, sir, man. Trey, no, man. Good brother, man. 
Yes, sir. Man, most of my interviews, man, it came from this man. Right? Contact, as uh, uh, as you, as I say. You know? All right, all right, man. Who else in here? All right, we got Otis the Great up in here. What's going on, Otis? All right, salute to you, brother. All right, what's going on? All right, all right. We got Khalid, I dread, I six, I one, I nine. <laughs> what's going on with you? All right, boss dog, did I skip you, man, or did I miss you? All right, but anyway, what's good with you, baby? The fight calling OG. You know that's right. And we're going to do it this weekend because we got another fight this week. We got another good payout this weekend, baby. This time, last week, we had William. Man, this time we got Jose Zapata. All right. Oh, suck it, suck it now. All right. Now, who else we got up in here? Uh, we got Boston Conversations with Reggie Orn. My guy. My man. Man, he be having me cracking up, man. That's my guy, man. He be having me cracking, 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 cracking up. Man, a giggy, 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 goo. Hey, 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 Red. That was Quagmire. That was Quagmire, all right, for my family guy. Right? <laughs> Woo! Man, oh, man. He had me rolling, boy, man. You know, and these dumbasses, they give him so much, they give him so much material to work with that they get mad when he clown them. <laughs> you throw the rock. <laughs> I didn't throw it. <laughs> man, oh man. You crazy. You crazy. Right? <laughs> man, oh man. Man, I will crack it up, man. Y'all know y'all who the quack by is, right? He's a little freaky freaky, right? <laughs> man, oh man. But anyway, Reggie is up in the house, y'all. All right. What's going on, Flawless? Oh, Flawless, Miss Sally is up in. Oh, he's up in here, baby. What's going on? All right. Yes, sir, Dr. Mark. What's happening with you? Yes, sir. On oh, the on oh, the real, they, they stay giving me uh material to clown them. I know. You know what I'm saying, right? You know, knowing, okay, now, now, it's just like, when it said do not enter, right? It said dog, dog on the premises, right? Do not enter, or you're going to get bit b- b- or whatever. You know not to enter, right? Because if you do, your ass going to get ate up, right? Well, the same with these dumb asses, right? Especially Will Tree or Will, right? Well, well you know, do not mess with Reggie. Because you know it's consequences if you do. But they go ahead and do it anyway. Then when they do uh, 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 bite, bite, you know, then you be like, oh, what did I do? What did I do? Man, oh man, let me get started. All right, man, oh man, I had my laugh today, man. Oh man, I was cracking up, man. But I, man, man, I just spit my food out here. <laughs> he said, "Man, what's that nigga named Quagmire?" Right? <laughs> oh, things. What's going on, baby? All right, let's talk about it, y'all. Let's talk, talk, talk about it. All right, now, right now. First of all, we're going to talk about the welterweight division, all right? <laughs> the welterweight division, right? Uh, right now, Terrence Crawford is putting himself in a position uh, not to make money uh, uh, um, because he blew that. Um, now, I will say this. Terrence Crawford could have had the, the world by his tail if he knew how to move, but he didn't know how to move. And once he got undisputed, once he won and beat Earl Spence, and, of course, you know, he got a nice bag on top of that, he just went goddamn bug wild. And now he's like in a trick bag. That's why he didn't give up the belts, right? Because he wanted to put himself in a position. And he did put himself in a position. He put himself in a position 
where he pretty much will be the mandatory to who? Tim Zoo at 154. Now, of course, this is just a rumor. It's just a rumor. I don't know for sure. See how, see how easy that is, Blue? If you don't know, you just don't know, right? Now, ain't no breaking news and no shit like that. I just don't know. Now, of course, Earl Spence. Earl Spence, now, they're saying he's going to fight Keith Thurman. Now, if I know Earl like I know Earl, when he means no, he means goddamn no. So, I don't know who's saying this, but pump the brakes on that, y'all. All right? Until you know for sure, don't listen to breaking news and all that. Because there ain't nothing but big lies. Earl Spence. Now, as long as y'all knew Earl Spence, everything he said came to fruition. Everything he said. And so why should not I believe him now? Now, of course, Earl Spence said, hey, look. Huh, I'm not going to fight that dude. Because someone on Twitter said, oh, that's going to be a good fight. Earl get the winner. Earl said, no, I don't. I'm not fighting him, and I'm not. So I take his word before I take Dan Raphael's word. No doubt about it. So, but anyway, I just thought I meant to know uh, uh, real fast, but get back to Terrence Crawford. What's up, Don J? I see you, Icon Canadian. What's going on, baby? I see you. So, look, KQ, it's the perfect time for that Thurman versus Spence fight. Yes, sir, it is. But it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. Because Earl said, hey, man, I don't know where they got that from, but that is not happening. That is not happening. All right? That is not happening. And, and you know what? And I. I believe Earl. What's up, Brian King? Foul, 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 cone, baby. What's up, Edgar Chavez? What's going on with you? Oh, there he go. My man Remo in the builder, baby. Yes, sir. The next Dapper Don. The next Dapper Don, y'all. Y'all know who Dapper Don is, right? Back in the days, everybody went to Dapper, Dapper, Dapper Don. Yes, sir. He said, man, hit that like button, y'all. Salute KQKC. You got it, baby. All right? You got it. You got it. You got it. Now. Uh, back to Canelo Alvarez, all right? Now, all the hitters are coming out on Amazon Prime, all right? Al Hammond is not putting all the stops. And, and, and let, let me correct something. You know, and, and I'm, I, don't, I don't mean to jump all over the place, you know, but sometimes thing, I think about things, and I say, oh, I got to tell him this, right? Listen, uh, uh, Sunday Sports TV, I think it was yesterday or the day before, um, of course, he's saying that PBC, you know, this ain't no hate on 78 or nothing like that. I'm just repeating what he said. Um, he said PBC is not for black people. They're not for the black fighter. Um, well, first of all, we never thought they were. they for all fighters. They should be for all fighters. Now, just because a black man run it. I mean, that do make a difference to me sometimes. But who said that it was just for black people? You know, see, then I thought about it. I don't know why it took me a minute to think about it. Why would he say that? He know better than that. Then I thought about all. Oh, him and Bill are good friends. That's right. So Bill, you know, he don't like Floyd. So Floyd is attached to PBC. I say, so there you go. They didn't sign with PBC. They didn't sign with Floyd. So, oh, okay, now understand. Now understand why he said that. Uh, once again. Oh, uh, once again. Oh, uh, once again. You must love the sport. And not the fighter. Remember that. Love the sport and not the fighter. Now, I don't know about you, but if I go to a fight, I ain't sitting in no dressing room watching nobody dress and get dressed. I'll be running all over that bitch. 
hey, 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 man, can I, man, hey, can I get your number, man? Man, let's, hey, let's get together to do an interview. Hey, what's going on, man? First of all, hey, write this down, man. Give me your autograph. Now, check this out, man. Look here. Let me set you up, man, and we can just set up on the interview, man. You know, no, no free exposure. That's all. You know, man, I'd be all over that place. They don't know how to work the room. You see? See, when you mature like we are, you know how to work the room. Hey, Deb, I'll be right back, man. All right? Hold that down. I'll be right back, man. Man, I'll be all over that place. You know, every fighter I see, I'm writing down their number. Every fighter. That's how you work the room. That's why it's called a network. Because you network. And that's what KQ do. I network. Now, let's get back to Canelo Everest. Now, first of all, Canelo, you lost your damn mind. Because, first of all, ain't nobody going to pay you not no $200 damn million dollars to fight. Now, you might be used to getting your way with Eddie or somebody like that, but Al ain't playing that. Ain't nobody going to pay you that type of money to fight Dave Benavides. Yes, that is a big fight. Matter of fact, that's a big fight for the U.S. and Mexico. Because you get a chance to see somebody actually challenging Canelo Alvarez. Because, let's be honest, y'all. he been cherry-picking ever since hell. He was at 154. Especially if someone threatened, you know, he's threatened by, well, in other words, that he can lose by. So he skate on up and go up another weight class. He don't like it there. He come back down or go back up or up. Come on, let's not act like this is the first time he did this shit. This is who Canelo is. Look at that press conference they had the other day. It was quiet like a church mouse in there. They were scared to say really how they feel. Really how they feel with my specs set. Right? They were scared to say how they really feel. You know, oh man, why are these glasses always goddamn dirty? Man. Anyway, so, but anyway, then you got Oscar over there. Oscar over there, um, kind of kiss, you know what? Oscar, uh, 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 um, Canelo ass, you know? And, and, and Oscar don't care about Canelo. I mean, really, he don't. You know, I mean, they, they don't care. What's up, Dodge? Jay, man, talk to me, man. What's going on with you? He said, hell no, Al Heyman ain't paying that. No, he, he just got back on uh, with Amazon Prime. Ain't no way he's taking a loss like that. No, he, no, of course not. Of course not. That's why they got Fondur. Listen, they thought fast on their feet. They weren't going to cancel that fight. They just had to replace it. Now, they said the same thing about Ryan. But Ryan said, hey, look here, I ain't crazy, y'all. Now, Ryan might be saying some crazy, you know, shit sometimes. But sometimes that shit be interesting what he be talking about. It be factual, actual shit. But Ryan is showing everybody, listen, I'm not crazy. I just been trolling, having some fun. Now it's time to get busy. And that's why he put out those sparring tapes. Now, I don't mean to harp on this because... It already been beat up. It already ain't going to do well at the tickets. You know, but like I said yesterday, they will sell some pay-per-views. How much? I don't know. But one thing about it is, you know, Ryan Garcia is selling this fight indirectly. You'd be surprised how many period, uh, people will say, out of curiosity, like I put down there, the curiosity would kill the damn cat. Because they want to know, is he really crazy? Is he really, really, really crazy? Or, 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 or he just trolling? Or did Ryan get himself in some shit that he shouldn't got himself into? Because he knew he can't beat Devin Haney. He know that Devin Haney probably could box his socks off of him. So he's trying to get out the fight. Huh? Or that shit just ran him crazy. I mean, which one is it? But, Ryan, now, 
it might be a shock to y'all. But then again, it might not be a shock to y'all. Ryan is stronger than a Devin. Woo. What, KQ? He can punch. Ryan can punch way better and way harder than Devin Haney. Now, 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 of course, we, you know, some people that, that's fanboys of um of Devin, they believe he's Superman, that he can't do no wrong. Uh, but I beg the difference. And and you also too. Watch how he move after this fight. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, like BossesAint.com said. Bill Haney wants this fight more than his son. Why? Because they know they are, this is their last hope to make some real money. You see, Tank going to make his money regardless who he fights. He going to make his money no matter who he fights. That's just who he is. That's the charisma in him. That's his personality. But oh no. Devin Haney, no, no. He going to have to do something to make himself more exciting. To draw the people in. You know, uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, fighting in the UK. He be doing all this. No, it be on Instagram. He be like, boom. No, boom. You know, you know, boxing like a nut. Right? But he's exciting. People like that. People like it when you come out there and show uh, 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 and entertain. People like that. Sure, we like the sweet science too now. Don't get me wrong. Ben Whitaker, that's the name. Ben Whitaker. That's right. Ben Whitaker. There you go, Remo. Yeah. You know, now, he's a fool. He's a clown. He's not your ordinary boxer. But he do make it exciting. They like that shit. They think it's funny. They think it's inter- uh, in, uh, uh, entertainment. And, and my man Khalid says, substance and style. There you go. There you go. That sell every time. I try to tell everybody this. I've been saying this for years. You got to show up and show out in and out the ring. That what made Floyd so great. That would make Floyd so great. You know, when you when you when you when you all 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 technical, all tied up, still thing, not having fun. See, one thing about sports. No, scratch that. One thing about doing something you love. You know, we can see it in your eyes. We can see it in your expression. Hey, he love what he do. He love what he does. You know? What's up, 1400, baby? What's good with you? Yes, sir. Henny hyped up just to jab and back up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, see, that's what I'm explaining. You know, Devin Henny, you know, he he does the, what we call the sweet science, which is nothing wrong with it. But you got to put a little stank on it, too. Other words, you gotta put some moxie on it. You know? When I seen the super chat song, right? I try to put a little stank on it sometimes. Y'all know what I mean? I know I can't sing, but I try to entertain. I try to entertain. I try to make it fun. You know? And that's what I like about certain fighters. Now, I'm not sitting up here comparing Tank to Ryan, but Tank, we know. He gonna do something exciting. We know he gonna knock somebody out any given time. We know that. We know that he might be down on the uh, on the scorecard. He might be four rounds down. But we know sooner, oh sooner than later, he about to come in here or come in there and wham, one bounce. Thank you, ma'am. And he out of there. Like I tell everybody. Like I tell everybody. Everybody say, "What well, Tank don't fight nobody." He don't fight nobody. Well, he fight Frank Martin. And Frank Martin, I think, is a good fighter. 
Frank Martin knows how to use his angles. Frank Martin knows how to step in, step out, step around. He knows how to do all that. And he's a southpaw. Now, one thing about it is, and I'm going to keep saying this to I'm blue in the face. I don't care who he fought. A knockout is a knockout. I don't care about that. When you knock somebody out, you knock them out. I don't care if they're a B-level fighter or A-level fighter. Because, see, when they look at that resume and they see how many knockouts you got, they don't get in, no, get and say, well, he's a B-level fighter he knocked out this time or a C-level fighter this time. No. Now, of course, we are boxing heads and we're going to break it down, you know, fight by fight basis and we're going to look at the ages and we're going to look at this and that. You know, but they don't say nothing. You know, they don't tell me shit. What's going on? Say all, oh, say less. All right? Don't say nothing but less. Say less. Earl, what's going on? Yes, sir. Earl Spence. Yes, sir. What's up, Zach? What's good with you, baby? Yes, sir. All right? Uh, say less. It's up in here. He said, them LDBC goofies only like Frank because he was signed with Earl. Because he's he was signed with Earl. Uh, I don't know. I like him. And that's why I'm kind of torn in this fight. Because I, I, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Tank fan. And I like Frank Martin. Now, uh, um, I don't know about what the LDBC, you know, what they're doing over there. But I like a fighter because... Um, his skill set, all right? Now, uh, I'm not that type that, you know, uh, that ride with the crowd, okay? Of course, everybody knows that. Everybody knows I'm, man, I ride by myself, right? I think for myself. Um, so, but I like Frank Martin. I think he's cool. I think he's laid back. I think he's a no-nonsense fighter. Uh, He's a slick fighter. Uh, he's a fundamental fighter. Uh, he got power. You know, he got the, he did, he got the goods. Only thing about it is he need a little more spicing. All right? He need a little more uh. You know? That's what it is. You know, he haven't really, 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 really uh, 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 fought some tough, tough fights until now. And I guarantee you, he will be ready to go in June. I guarantee you. What's up, AK? What's going on with you, baby? Keto later in the building, y'all. So, so he be ready. I, I have no faith about it. I mean, I think he is one of the greatest young fighters at 135 I've seen in a long time. Now, I've seen him do an interview with Queens of the Ring. They did a great job with that interview. They got him to open up a little bit more. Uh, uh, you know, Frank Martin kind of quiet, laid back. Uh, 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 but he will talk that ish. All right? Like he said about Shakira Stevenson. Right? Shakira Stevenson called him all kind of names. Frank, he didn't call no names or nothing like that, but he didn't think so kindly of it either. But he's a mature young man. He's way mature than most guys his age. And I like the guy. You know, I like him. You know? You know, what's up, Lewis? 45. What's going on, man? Yes, sir, man. Glad to see you, baby. Yes, sir. Glad to see you. I saw you over there last night. Yes, sir. I will be a guest over at the Rise Podcast tonight. All right? So make sure y'all um, tune in tonight, okay? Yes, sir. I'm glad you made it, man. All right? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So, uh, 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 uh. Yes, sir. This is my guy, Lewis4500, y'all. Good brother, all right? Yes, sir. Y'all introduce yourself uh, to Lewis. Y'all make him feel at home. Lewis4500, baby. All right? Yes, sir. All right, now. Uh, 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 what's going on, Matthew Bishop? Yes, sir. Peace and blessings to you. All right? But but like I say, uh, so far, Frank Martin is a class act. Yes, he is. What's up, Teach? What's good with you, baby? Yes, sir. What's up, Tate? It's in our building, y'all. Man, I just take these off and look what happened. I had to put my finger in it. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Martin, Frank Martin is a class act. You see how Shakir was going in on him? 
you know, and then next thing, you know, he didn't he didn't go back at him. He could have. Oh, he could have. But what difference does it make? I mean, this was wrong with the fighters today anyway. They talk too damn much on social media, but they won't fight. That was wrong with us. You know, we you know, we talk too damn much for one. You know? So, man. I mean, just, you know, hey, you want to fight? Okay, let's make it happen. Now, let me mention this real fast. Uh, since we talk about Secure Stevenson, you got none other than Ken Austin, Ken Schofield, calling out Secure Stevenson, calling out Adula Mason. Well, hold on. Hold on, Jack. Let's slide it back. Now, first of all, Adula Mason, he's a good fighter. He's a damn good fighter at 135. All right? What's up, Knockout? What's going on? Knockout Boxing 86 TV. Oh, and I... Oh, oh yeah. OG, do you think Frank Martin is a duck for fighting Javante Davis instead of Shakir Season? Hell no. No, 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 knockout. He ain't ducking. How you gonna duck by fighting the face of boxing to Shakir Season? And you making more money. Now, now, now. I don't know how you feel, knockout, but that's how I feel. Hell, how can Frank Martin be a duck for a fight, a guy that he's going to make a lot of money, win, lose, or draw? It depends how he fight in the fight. He still going to get that notoriety. He going to get that notoriety already by fighting him. That's how I see it. I mean, come on. We know, hey, we real, like, real not recognize real. Security Stevenson, you can sit back and wait. Because Javante Davis, hey, he coming your way real soon. Real, 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 real soon. Now, but, now, now, uh, like I said, that's what people are trying to tell me, man. I agree with you. Yeah, I mean, man, I, man that, that don't make no sense. Security, look, now, I look at it this way, all right? To fight Javante Davis come around once, in a lifetime. All right? And I'm going to be, I'm, and I'm being real. Shakira Stevens is going to be there. He's going to be there. He just got out of retirement. So-called retirement. Okay, so he'll be there. So when the time is right, he'll fight him next. If he wants to. But I guarantee you this. Shakira ain't going no damn well. All right? So, no, no, no. Tank ain't ducking nobody. Do y'all realize what ducking is? Like someone gonna say, well, Tank is ducking Devin Haney. How can you duck somebody? There's two weight classes above you. <laughs> oh man, you can't write this shit. Man, I can't, I mean, come on. How can you come on? Come on. What's up, Jermaine? Four, one, nine. Ooh. And I, so, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> wow. wow. He said, when Tank fights, we know one thing for sure. Somebody getting knocked the fuck out. Right. And Frank, a good dude, but his ass is going on night night, OG. Well, well, you know, you know, like I said, this is Frank coming out party. Believe it or not, it is. Because, just like I said, I would have chose Javante Davis before anybody. May he rest in peace, like Coach say. They've been a been 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 over everybody. Well, I think the same way with Javante Davis. You got a chance to fight him. Or Javante Davis. Well, I'm gonna choose Javante Davis. 
Because if I show up, show, show, show up, who knows? I might be on my game. I might knock him down. Oh, 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 oh. it might be a flash knock down. Anything. I'm going to get my just, just do. That's what I'm going to get. So I don't call it a duck. What's up, Nick? Nicky, Nicky J is in the building. What's going on, Nick? She said, you should, when you speaking of people in line, I don't care how old you are, that was messy and childish. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what she's saying. I don't know. All right. I don't know. I think she's talking about somebody in, in, in the, uh, the chat. Oh, DZ Sanchez, what's going on? All right, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, I kind of figured that knock out. Yeah, yeah. So, but um, uh, uh, Rob Bottom, what's good with you, man? Uh, yes, sir. Passing security to uh, fight tank is like driving past uh, Crown uh, uh, Crown Fry to go to Popeye. Oh, uh, uh, okay. <laughs> All right, to go to, to go to Popeyes. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. When Frank wake up, at least he going to be a rich. <laughs> you know, it's not the money, y'all. I mean, see, everybody going to say it. it's not the money. It's not the money. It's what he brings with the money. Or rather, I guess you can say. Devontae Davis, he's the face of boxing. He's the top to the top. I don't care who he fought. I told you all. A knockout's a knockout. All right? Now, but when you have the opportunity to fight him, or you can fight Secure Stevenson. Now, don't get me wrong. Secure Stevenson is a great fighter. I like him. Now, like I said, great defensive fighter. He fight great at mid-range. He can stand right there mid-range and make you miss all day long. But I'm sorry. <laughs> Man, that killer, that killer from Baltimore. Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, no, no. Stacey McKinley was on the Rise podcast last night. All right? That was Don King, right-hand man. All right? Now, like you say, Javante Davis is the only fight he would pay for on pay-per-view. That's the only fight. So, Frank Martin, Javante Davis, that's a good fight, y'all. That's a great fight. Now, Shakur Stevenson, now, I ain't gonna call it a duck. You know? You know what I mean? So, but, you know, some people, some people, uh, 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 um, think Shakira Stevenson is a good, better fight. But his time is coming. His time will come. Because, see, right now, Javante Davis is on a mission. He's on a mission. He want to clean out 135. At least they want to clean out 135. What's up, uh, 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 a ring king's a pot, a cast? But like I said, that goes back to Frank Martin again, right? I just got to say this, you know? And make sure y'all smash the like button, the ones that's coming in. All right? Now, and I'm sorry I'm late. All right? But um, but still and all, uh, 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 like I said, when the Queens of the Rings did an interview with Frank, I like his demeanor. Uh, I like his laid-back style. You know? And he, I like his decision-making. Right? And like you said, he just want a little, uh, Right? Well, uh, 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 well, he gonna get his, uh, you know, what's up, Tay? What's going on? He said, what, what, what is LDBC? It stands for the Lions Den Boston Community. All right. Okay. Well, yes, yeah, that. Anyway, but, uh, but anyway, uh, uh, still and all, um, it's a good fight. So it's not a duck. Okay. So. I don't know who's saying that, but what's up, Slick Rick? What's going on? Yes, sir. It's Slick Rick. Yes, sir. All right. New avatar and Brandon to honor my father. Okay. Love all family. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. All right. All right. I appreciate that. 
All right? Yes, sir. And I got to say, man, yeah, Frank is well-spoken. At the time, he looked like a duck. But now that we have all the information, he made a better decision fighting Tank over security. Yes, he did. Most definitely. Most definitely. What's up, Zach? Just calm yourself in the chat argument. I didn't come at you, but you... Oh, okay. All right, y'all chill out. Whatever y'all doing in the chat. What's up, Cassandra? What's going on, my love, my queen? What's going on? All right? Yes, sir. But, um... But still and all, um, it is what it is, okay? It's a good fight, and um, and don't think Frank a pushover either. Let me get that straightened out, too. Don't think just uh, uh, if Frank if Frank lost to secure, it wouldn't be no tank fight. Yeah, well, of course not. Of course not. But even Shakur Stevenson admitted it. Tank is the man. Tank run, boss, whatever he said, whatever, whatever. But, you know, his time is coming. But right now, it's Frank Martin time. And I, like I said, I'm kind of torn between both guys. You know, uh, I'm a big, you know, I, I like Tank. I think, man, can't nobody mess with him. You know? Man, you know. So, uh, uh, Nick J, you said your first statement came after KQKC mentioned Ed. I, uh, uh, Mr. Ed, I interviewed with him. Oh, oh, don't play crazy in there. It's cool, but don't do that. Oh, okay. Okay. But anyway, all right. Uh, so I don't know about that, but anyway, but, um, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, but like I say, um, this is a fight that Javante Davis, it can be a risky fight. Okay? This is a risky fight. Now, what y'all think? That Javante Davis is going to go in there, work his magic, and knock him out. Just like that. Easy, easy breezy. Well, I got news for y'all. Uh-uh. Frank ain't laying down like that. Frank ain't laying down like that. Yeah, I don't know y'all saying because uh, the LWC, they love Frank. That's why, because uh, uh, he with Earl. That's why they like him or whatever. No, you know, I don't know what they thinking, all right? I'm not in the LWC, so I don't know what they thinking. But the way I think is that Frank Martin, he don't need Earl Spence to be a good fighter. He don't need Earl Spence to validate his uh, uh, his uh, 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 fight, uh, uh, his uh, who he is. I think he's great. He got that slick boxing style. And a lot of people don't know that until he showed, I think, what, uh, his last fight or the fight before last. But he got that from his first coach out here in Indiana, right, right next door to me. He can be a slick fighter. He can be a sharpshooter. And he's very accurate with his punches. Now, I don't know if he's still on the weights. But Javante Davis, he did come out with the, about the weights. And watch. As we get closer to the fight, they're going to be going at it. Oh, Frank. Y'all say he's quiet. He won't say nothing. Okay, watch how close we get to this fight. Watch how he open his damn mouth. Y'all going to see. You know? So, so watch. Watch. Watch how great this is. I mean, it's going to be a great fight. Now, a lot of people think about Ryan and Devin. That's going to be a great fight. Y'all don't think so, but it will. Ain't nothing wrong with Ryan. Ryan now Ryan trying to come out and let everybody know that I'm not crazy. You know, I took my thorns in, whatever they call it. So I'm not crazy no more. Uh, they're going to sell, though. It's going to sell. Now, a lot of people think I'm crazy, right? Can't you, y'all, you know damn well that fight ain't going to sell. You know they ain't doing, they only sold 44 tickets. You know, the most they sold in one day is 44. Okay, I ain't talking about the tickets. That's a done deal. But I really believe that some people might say, hey, you know what, out of curiosity, I'm going to order this fight just to see what Ryan do. 
just to see, you know, is Ryan, you know, crazy. Because, I mean, let's be honest. Derrick James is a no-nonsense trainer. If he thought just for a second Ryan was crazy, then, then next thing you know, he say, look here, man, I can't do this, brother. Okay, I can't let you go in there and get yourself killed, hurt, or whatever. Because your mind ain't right. Look what Ronnie Shields did. What Ronnie Shields do to Jamal? Hey, look here, Roy. Check this out, man. I'm sending you uh, Jamal, man, because uh, Jamal, you know, right now, he need to get away from Houston. All right? Is it cool? You know, okay, Jamal on the way down to uh, 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 Florida. You know, he's on his way down to Florida. And it did work. It did, you know, he went through the motions when he fought David Benavid, uh, uh, um, Jose Benavides, uh, uh, Jr., you know, and he won. But, of course, he's not ready for Canelo Everest. We know that. So, but still and all, I mean, Gary James, he would have did the same thing uh, uh, with um, Ryan Garcia. Or he would say, look here. Y'all need to put Ryan in an uh, in institution or or take him to a psychiatrist because I'm not one. I'm not a psychologist, so I don't know. All I do know is boxing. And one thing about boxing, you got to have your mind right. If you go in there, your mind is all loopy, you're going to end up on that canvas. Or you might end in a coma. So so, so that's why I know that Ryan is not true. You know, Ryan is not not having a breakdown or whatever. So now it's time to fight. We less than a month away. It's time to go. It's go time now. Now I I do have Devin winning this fight, no doubt about it. But don't forget, Ryan is not drained this time. Ryan is at his full capacity as far as weight. He's a 140, so let's see it. All right? OJ, do you think Floyd hate on some of the fighters? Well, I think Floyd, I think Floyd still want to be relevant. Um, Floyd's a good fighter. Floyd can fight his off, but I think he missed the know it all. You know, you gotta ask me, you gotta go through me, you need, you know, my advice and this and that. I got the blueprint how to succeed in boxing i got the blueprint of how to be successful in boxing and you know uh, um his ego is so damn big he can't even get through the door that's floyd floyd always and that what made him a great fighter the ego his ego made him that great now some people call it believing in yourself well he believed in himself all right <clears throat> he believed in everything about himself and so he batted on himself, and he won. He won. The girl collection he got, I heard that place is man, booming. So, I mean, hey, I can't fault Floyd. And I'm not going to do like everybody else say, well, if it weren't for Floyd, all these fighters, they'll be fighting. Just, no, 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 we ain't going to blame that on Floyd. Because if you want to be the great, if you want to be the all-time great, you will fight this person. You will fight this person. And you won't be scared to lose. Because you get more respect by fighting that killer than that L you got on your record. Because I'd rather be known for I'll fight anybody than being undefeated. Now, that's just me. But see, a lot of people don't think like old KQ. See, old KQ and say, hey, man, we get out and, you know, and put down. And throw down. We do all that. You know, now I might lose, but I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try my damn best to knock your head off. See what I mean? You know? So, what's up, Sean T? What's going on, baby? Yeah, sir, preach. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, Sean. All right, yes, yeah, say, Sean, still got the dog up there, man. Still got my dog up there. Mm hmm. I'm thinking about getting a dog, y'all. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, <clears throat> but um, yeah, uh, 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 uh Khalid Dredd said, OG caused Wilder suffer from those L's he took. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, he did. You know, but that's on Wilder. 
you know, like I say, listen, Ryder know he can't box. So he bought into Malik Scott, who was his uh, uh, trainer, I mean, uh, sparring partner, whatever. He bought into that, oh, yeah, I can box, you know. Like I told everyone, it looked great on film. It looked great on film, but you got to go in that ring in real time. And let's see you do the same shit you did in uh, sparring. Practice. And guess what? If he had to revert, <clears throat> he had to revert back to what he knew. That right hand. That right hand, baby. That right hand made him successful. That right hand made him break records of how many knockouts in a row. That right hand made him a bronze medalist. All right? That what happened. So, so like I say, you know, uh, we got a lot of good fights. A lot of fights. Getting back to Adula Mason and Kid Austin. Now, I don't know who told Kid Austin that he was a great fighter. I mean, I don't know. Maybe his daddy? I don't know. But Kid Austin needs to stop all that jumping around, calm his little ass down, and think about what he's about to do. Take his time. You know? Because, yeah, take his dad. Because anytime your father sit there and, and type and tweet, for you, acting like you, then, you know, I can see he's overprotective. But I thought you do that with babies. I don't know you do that with grown ass men. You know, I have a son, but hell, he's 20 down, well, almost down there 25. You know, and I'm definitely not going to treat him like no baby. Hell no. Uh uh, no, no, no. You know, but uh uh but Adula Mason. Now is that a good fight? Maybe so. I think I think um Adula Mason get hit a lot, uh, but not as much as some people do. This is boxing, you're gonna get hit. Oh yeah, you're gonna get hit in sparring or in real life. I mean in a, a real fight. You're gonna get hit. But if you get hit excessively too much, then that's a problem. Now, I don't think a dual Mason get hit a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, he does get hit, but it's not nothing that overwhelmingly, every time they, he throw or his opponent throw, he getting hit. No. But I think he can beat Kid Austin, no doubt about it. The height, the reach. You know, so... Uh, once he get that together, you know, once he find his range, then he's spot on. He is spot on. So, but Kid Austin, he's looking for a name. And what I mean by that is Oscar over there, he got him only one token. And y'all know what I mean by token. And that's Kid Austin. And Oscar's not moving him right. He not getting him the fights that he deserve or need because he's fighting guys that that really won't even know their name. And Ken Austin look good fighting them guys. But when is enough, it's enough. When do you think it's a good time to move a fighter a little bit up or closer into real, real competition? When do you think then that fighter or that prospect is ready for the big stage. When do you think that that fighter or prospect can handle the big names that he so-called want? He called out Jojo Diaz. Jojo Diaz that ain't no big name. Jojo Diaz looked terrible his last fight. We talked about this. We talked about this. Jojo Diaz, he ain't no, he ain't no real, real, real killer. So, I mean, it goes to show you. It goes to show you that, you know, uh, uh, 
Kid Austin at 135. He can't jump up to 140 or 147 because he's short in statue. What I've been trying to tell y'all about Javante Davis. So he got to get in where he fit in. But he got to be careful, though. He has to be careful. So, uh, Michello, uh, 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 Lomachenko, these guys can fight. And all that hopping back and forth, you know, that just ain't going to cut it. So, do you think he deserves a better fight now? Do he deserve a fight with, let's say, Keyshawn Davis? Do he deserve better than what he's getting? That's not my determination. Now, if it was up, left up to me, I said, yeah, go ahead and put him in there with somebody because he's going to have to learn sooner or later. More sooner than goddamn later. I'll tell you that. Same way with welterweight, heavyweight, everybody else. You're going to have to sooner or later, you're going to have to fight. You're going to have to fight. The sweet science is beautiful, baby, but you're still going to have to fight. Now, a lot of people don't understand this. And let me explain this. Javante Davis, Frank Martin chose to fight him or vice versa. Good move. But see, we are talking about Tank. We are talking about Javante Davis. Uh, 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 one content creator said, you know, if Javante Davis was fighting this, I'm going to use his pen as an example. If he was fighting this pen, everybody and their mama would show up to see him fight this pen. That's what type of fan base he has. That's what type of fan base he has. They're going to show up and show out for him. No matter if it's in Baltimore, Atlanta, California, or wherever, they're going to show up and show out for Javante Davis. Now, let's take uh, Oshaki Foster. Great fighter. Very exciting fighter. But he can't afford to do what Javante Davis do. You see? He can't afford to do what Javante Davis do because of who he is. That's why. He can't afford that. Because he hasn't reached that plateau of notoriety. He's exciting, though. He's on his way. Because, baby, when he fought in Mexico, boy, man, he fought to tooth and nail, baby. So he's exciting. Uh, Lewis4500 said, uh, why is that, can't you? Can't you see? Uh, uh, why is what now? Talk to me, Lou. What's going on, L? All right, why is what? Why Javante Davis? If he was fighting his pen, why everybody would show up and show out? for him because of, like you said, charisma. Because he sells. He's exciting. Like I say, everybody who knows KQ knows I always repeat who? Emmanuel Stewart. And what Emmanuel Stewart always say? Knock out sales. You know? There you go, Lewis. Lewis said, why tanks sell out everywhere he go? There you go. Because of his swagger. Let me go, let me go young on y'all for a minute. Okay? Let me go young. Let me do uh what y'all say, keep it a buck. Let me keep it a buck. Now, Javante Davis is the type of guy. Yes, he's a street guy. Yes, he grew up in the inner city. Yes, he's seen his mother, mother best friend get killed. Yes, all of that. But he grew up now. He has a son or daughter. Well, I don't know which one, but uh, uh, now he's more mature now. The rappers love him. The football players love him. His charisma. He just drawn. You know, you ever met someone that 
uh, 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 uh. you got some women or some men when they walk into the room, the room that I mean, everybody, you know, they know he here. Everybody know he here. Everybody know, oh man, such and such in here, right? Because they know how to work that room. They, you know, they got that charisma. Well, that's what Tank had. And along with that, he can bag that shit up by knocking you out. I know I sound like a fanboy, don't I? I do, right? I sound like a fanboy. But I don't mean to. But I'm just, you know, I'm just answering his question. And, and people like that. People love that. People love the knockouts. People love how you are uh, 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 small in statue and still carry a big stick. They love that shit. You know, and that what sells. That what sells. You know? Now, yeah, do everybody do everybody have that? No. You have to find your own way. You have to find your own notch. I'm going to use myself as an example. Is that all right with y'all? What's up, Big Dre? Now, I'm using myself as my own example. All right? When I first started doing this, uh, 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 being a content creator, I had to find something that would get your attention. Sure, I can come up here and talk all day about boxing, but I got to get something to grab your attention. So what should I do? I said to myself, now, for now, when he used to work at, they just had this gong thing, right? And he hit that gong, and when they make a sale or whatever. And he used that when someone sent him a super chat, right? And I thought about it, thought about it. I said, you know what? Hell, I just sing it, right? I said, that'll get the attention. Yeah, it might be uh, 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 like, whoa, you know, because I can't sing, but but it's authentic. So that's what I did. I had to do something to grab your attention. This is what fighters got to do. Fighters got to grab your attention by doing something. Ben Whitaker, he's a damn fool in the ring, but Everybody waiting to see him act a fool. Oh, did I say that? Ooh, that was cold. Did I say that? Wow. But, but that I mean, those are the facts. Now, now some people say, "Well, Devin Haney, he just boring this and that." He don't have to be. He don't have to be, baby. No, no, no. He don't have to be. Because, see, Floyd, he wasn't born and, and whatever. But he was a straight fighter. He was a sweet science fighter. They we just got to turn that minus into a plus. That's all. Have fun with it, baby. Have fun with it. It can work. I'm telling y'all right now. Yo, yeah, sir, so what's up, Drake? Noble. And that too. Bruh. Chat. Yes, yeah, sir. Drake, what's going on, man? He said, missed out, but here a little something. All right, yes, yeah, sir. All right. What'd you miss out on? You ain't miss out on nothing. All right. We just getting started, baby. All right. We just getting started. Okay. But I appreciate that love, all right? Appreciate that love, all right? What's up, Al Chavo? What's good with you, baby? Now, all right. Now, uh, so I hope that's cleared up. Pretty Boy Floyd was a KO artist, uh, uh, though, OG. Yes, yeah, Pretty Boy Floyd. A lot of people skip over that, right? I don't know why, but they like to go to Money Mayweather. Well, Pretty Boy Floyd, he was a great knockout artist. Yeah, he was that guy. You know, no doubt about it. And then, of course, with the, uh, hand injuries uh, uh, and things like that, then he became a defensive fighter. 
And now uh, his defense was like, man, spot on. You no, know, that shoulder roll. Everybody claimed to do it, but you got to have the right height, neck, all that. Ryan tried to do it. Y'all remember Ryan you know, when he tried to do it. You know, I guess that was the shoulder roll, onion roll, whatever it was, but it wasn't working. It wasn't working. So, so that's what makes a sighting fighter. That's what makes you a sighting. Like I say, every fighter got to do something to get your attention. Uh, 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 I look at Shushu. I look at how the, his last fight. Everybody said, oh, man, hell no. Oh, shoot, he ain't no contender no more. He just a full-blown pro now, right? He got everything it takes because he comes on strong. You know, when you think he's down and the chips are down, he pick them up and come up and he's strong. He don't do anything special. He just twists your head around with a punch. He show you that, hey, you know, I can fight. I'm strong. So, but anyway, but to go back until we were talking about about Javante Davis and Frank Martin, a damn good fight. No ducking at all. Matter of fact, Frank Martin, I bet he was glad to have that fight. I'm, I guess he, I, hey, look, I'm glad they called me. I'm dropping everything and everybody. I'm sorry, Secure. I mean, yes, you're a good fighter. You're, you're, you're silver medalist. But right now, uh, you ain't the man. Tank the man. And, and I think he made a damn good decision. I like Frank Martin. And I think it's going to be a chess match for a minute. Then I think Javante Davis is going to uh, uh, find a way. Because, you know, he t he started off slow. He might give up two, maybe three rounds. No, uh, 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 or four. Until he collect, like Floyd used to do, collect a little data from uh, Frank Martin. Like I told everybody, a southpaw, you got many southpaws. A, a, a Manny Pacquiao southpaw is not like a, 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 a Javante Davis southpaw. They all fight different. They all have different ways that they didn't deliver that straight left. A uh, Robert Guerrero, he threw it out there just like uh, 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 he throwing a jab. So, I mean, every southpaw is different. We remember, at least me, Dr. Mark, Bruce Gass. We remember when left hands, uh, Southpaw was outlawed. You could not use your left hand as your lead hand. And then they brought it back because they thought about it. Hell, you got to figure it out. You got to figure out how to get away from that left hand. And they did. You start off, first of all, getting away from that left hand. Circle to your damn right. That's a start, don't you think? Don't you think? Why would you move to your left? You know? I mean, move to your left and not your right. My fault. <laughs> yeah, Canelo's last real fight was Triple G, too. All right? Yes, sir. We're going to get to Canelo. All right? <clears throat> El Chavi. El Chavo. What's going on? Thomas, what's going on, man? What's happening with you? Yes, sir. Frank stops Tank in ninth, in, the, in ninth round. Remember, I said it first. No cap. Okay. Okay. All right, Thomas. Wow. Why you say that, Thomas? Ooh, that's bold, Thomas. Ooh, wait. Man, that's a bold prediction, baby. Why you say that? You know, Man, curiosity is goddamn killing the cat over here, baby. Tell me, what you talking about, T? T, talk to me, man. Why you think that? You think because uh, Frank Myers a little faster? He's faster on his feet? He uses his angles more than Javante Davis? Or, I mean, I mean, come on, tell, 
Come on, tell me something. All right, talk to me, baby. Because, you know, man, that's a bold statement, though, but hey, it's not impossible, though. It ain't impossible. Shit, like Tank said, I ain't Superman. Shit, I ain't Superman, damn it. So, hey, if that happens, oh, well, that's what boxing's all about. This is what we've been asking for. We've been asking for two great fighters. You know? Now, old Thomas said, man, uh, I like Frank fight style and style make fights. Oh, okay, y'all. All right. Yes, sir. And yes, uh, I will say this. Devontae Davis is not used to fighting southpaws. Now, he might have fought, what, uh, what did he say, about three southpaws, I think, in his whole career. So, I mean, that's not too far off. But remember, who has the better ring IQ? Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Who got the best ring IQ, y'all? Who got the best ring IQ, y'all? See, you got to put all that in a factor. When you talk about two great fighters. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give Frank his due. I'm going to give him his due. This ain't got shit to do with Earl. All right? He said he called, he, he called the ghost for a reason. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that. Oh, I know that. And, and Tank is called Tank for a reason. His head is big like a tank, they say. <laughs> but, but you know, uh, it, it's going to come down to this. These one of these fights that you have to look into real closely. And it's going to come down to that ring IQ. That's what it's going to come down to. It's going to come down to being busy. You must stay busy. Now, no posturing. Go out there and let your hands go. Punch with him. Don't wait for him to get off and then you get off. Oh, hell no. No. And good point, Remo. Good, 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 good point. Frank started off late in boxing, which I give him credit for. All right? Because one thing about it is when you start boxing at a late age like Frank Martin and you catch on like that, god damn, uh-uh, uh-uh, that ain't easy to do. That's not easy to do. But Tank been doing it since he was seven and eight. So he understand the chemistry makeup of boxing. Ooh, shit. Man, oh man, I'll be in two by own horn, but I'll pop my own collar though. Man, think about that. Javante Davis knows the makeup, the makeup of boxing. That's that ring IQ. Now, if Frank Martin make a mistake, I'm telling you right now, Tank gonna capitalize on that mistake. You see, like my big man, Big Supreme, say, Tank gonna catch him. Tank gonna catch him. Because Frank might make a mistake. Because, see, what did Roley do? What did Ryan do? When you have a lot of success, you get carried away, you let your guard down. Rolly were having success. What's up, Z? Zoo, Lou. Ryan is up in here. All right, make sure you hit the like button, baby. We got 86 in here. 86 people in here so far, baby. All right, now. Now, keep this in mind. Your mistake, Javante Davis game. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling you right now. Because, and also, Frank, he better have some uh, behind those punches. Because one thing about it, Tank got a chin. 
Now, and I'm kind of torn. You know, I want Javante Davis to win, and I don't want Frank to lose. You know, that's how I feel. But if Frank lose and become a better fighter, then I'm good with that. I'm good with that. I feel good about it. I feel good. All right? You know? Now, now, yeah, they did spar together. Yes, they did. Now, I wish Frank, and I think he stopped. I'm not for sure. But lay off the weights. Lay off the weights. Because I think that's going to be a big issue. The weights. The weights. That's the issue there. Lay, lay off of that shit. That's how I feel. So, but hey, man, listen. I'm telling you right now. I mean, I couldn't pick. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad that they made this fight because this is a fight that you can use as a study. All right? This is a field study type of fight. If it goes the way I think it's going to go, then people are going to study this fight because it's going to start off slow. Nobody want to make a mistake. Nobody want to overstep their bounds. Everybody trying to, uh, both guys, make sure they're at their right uh, 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 range. Now, one thing about it is they both are the same height, almost. Frank is not a tall man. Tank, not a tall man. So, they're going to have to get a little closer, a little closer, and then they comfortable. And then they pop they collar. Now, he doesn't like, okay, okay, he doesn't lift like that. That's his body type. Okay, okay, Nick, Nick said he doesn't like uh, 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 lift like that. This is, he, he might be the same way that Alicia Bargardner is. See, I looked at Alicia Bargardner when she was like nine years old. Her body makeup was still like she is today. It's like she, she lived weights like that. At that age, like she lived weights, whatever, but that's her body makeup. That's just the way she look. Then Nick J said, Frank don't lift like that. But, of course, Tank team, they showed a lot of film of him doing nothing but lifting weights. Lifting weights. Lifting, 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 lifting. You know? So maybe he's not lifting all the time. But, you know, he is lifting weight. One thing I learned, little guys, all right? I'm not being funny. Little guys, short guys, they're short and stacky. They get muscle mass on them faster than taller guys. Real fast. I don't know what it is. Maybe because they're short or whatever. I don't know. But that's good to hear, though. That's good to hear. Because when we interview. Uh, Coach Ellis, man, knock out asked him, well, do Tank lift weights? I think uh, knock out asked him. He said, no, Tank don't lift weights, all right? We got something to substitute for weightlifting, something that, that, that strengthen him and, you know, things like that, you know. So but we know that. So that's why his body makeup is a little bit different than other people's, all right? What's up, JC? What's going on? OG, back with y'all, back with you. Great content. Hey, appreciate you, brother. Oh, yeah, I appreciate you. All right, yes, sir. Well, all right, what's up, Big Drake? Sorry, OG, but only one can be true tank uh, 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 for the win. Sorry, OG, but only one can be, be true tank for the win. Okay, okay, okay. But like I say, you know, it's gonna be a good fight. And, and Secure Stevenson, I, I think he's in the wings waiting. Now, if he is by uh, um, Frank Martin, Secure is gonna be next. Now, allegedly, allegedly, they are working on that fight before Secure Stevenson leave one thirty five, because he's a big boy now. He's a big young man, and he can't make the weight come maybe on um, maybe Christmas. 
He probably can't make the weight now. So, so they were trying to get him before he leaves and go up to one, uh, 140. So, so man, that's going to be a damn good fight. Man, oh, man. Now, Shakira Stevenson, you're going to have to find your dance partner when you come out of retirement, I guess. I don't know. Is he still retired? I don't know. But he need to fight somebody. Now, how the hell are you going to say, put me in, coach, when, Devin, when everybody thought Ryan was going to drop out? I mean, have you been working on a uh, – have you been sparring? Are you was in training camp? Or you just knew that that's all you need? Just a month to get ready. You know, it could be true. You might be at weight already. Look at Javante Davis. Javante Davis had, what, 130, what, 139, 138.9? Going into training camp. Wow. But what's your, why, why, why I'm not surprised? Because they said Javante Davis is a small 135-pounder. He could fight at 130 if he really wanted to. You know, this is what I was trying to tell people. Devin is blowing up, and he's blowing up almost to a welterweight now. Matter of fact, they did mention Mario Barrios. And then also they mentioned Snack. Uh, 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 shout out to Marty. Marty rolled the tape. He had a guest on Victor Conti. And some products do blow you up. I don't care if vitamins or not. It do blow you up. Snack works. Snack works. And this is according to Marty the roll your tape. You know, so. But I'm not gonna put that jacket on though. All right, we never put a jacket on a fighter like that, okay? Because that can ruin a fighter' uh, reputation and career, you know. Because who want to fight someone that tested positive for PEDs? Look at Conor Ben. He can't even fight in his own country. Nobody want to fight his ass. But he had talked that smack. He had talked that smack. So now. All right, now let's get back to Canelo since you want to talk about Canelo so bad. <laughs> what's up, Edward Morris? What's going on? Salute to you, man. What's happening? What's what 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 it do? Swilly, back fat man. What's going on with you? Huh? Yes, yeah, sir. He said Canelo and, and, and um, DB is a yes, sir. It was a good fight, but I had no doubt DB will come in a damn heavyweight fight. Uh, uh, uh will come in. A damn heavyweight uh, fight night. Well, yeah. Uh, Canelo Alvarez said David Benavides, when he rehydrates, he's an extra 25 pounds. Now, that's Canelo saying that. Now, Canelo say anything not to fight him. He'll say, hell, he's like two people in there. Anything not to fight David Benavides. $200 million. Are you crazy? Are you crazy or you just lost your goddamn marbles? You really think somebody's going to pay your ass that money? You know, see, that's just to shut everybody up. That's all it is. But you know what? I keep on asking him. I keep on saying it. And David Benavides came out with a, a, a Instagram post with Canelo on it and a jar of peanuts. Now, he said, do you think you have enough? To find your nuts. <laughs> Man, these fighters getting creative, ain't they? Man, these fighters getting creative, ain't they? Man, come on. Man. What's up, Edward Moore said, Man, Canelo outweighed Amir Khan by 23 pounds fight night. Of course. That's Canelo M.O. Canelo don't fight fighters at his weight class. He just don't do that. Now, of course, that's why Amir Khan got knocked out real bad. See, Canelo just fight older fighters, or fighters that are going into their prime, uh, uh, out of their prime. And, and look at John Ryder. John Ryder could bust a great. They knew that. I mean, come on. What's up, JC? He said, man, oh, man, oh, man, OG, in my opinion. 
that's just not to fight. It's just not to fight. Yeah, 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 of course. Oh, yeah, I mean, listen. For some rhyme or reason, Canelo don't want to fight David Benavides. All right? And because he's Mexican, or uh, other words, for the Mexican descent, or Latin descent, because every time I say that, it's always some smart ass saying that, oh, KQ, he ain't from Mexico. He from Honduras. Well, goddamn same language, all right? Still same Latin descent, all right? Now, if that's the case, why Canelo ain't fighting him then? Why Canelo ain't going to fight him then? I mean, come on. Y'all got to stop making excuses for this man. Yes, he broke the bank. Yes, he did. Now, oh, now, hold on. Now, most of your Canelo fans, they tried to tell me yesterday, because they didn't like what I said about their hero. Oh, no, they didn't like that. But do KQ care? Uh, no. No, I don't. But they saying, listen, Canelo Alvarez asked for $200 million to fight Dave Minervis because he's a businessman. What that got to do with the price of tea in China? Huh? What the hell? What are you talking about? No. No. He did that so that Dave Benavid or some promoter won't come up with the money and pay him. That's why he said it's so high. Ain't nobody going to break their bank to satisfy his ass. That's where he a busy man at. Now, then they say, well, listen, listen, KQ, Canelo Alvarez is the fifth highest paid athlete. Uh, I said, and so damn what? Because I don't care about that. I don't care how much money you got. Damn that. Damn that. Get in there and fight somebody. Get in there and show us why you're supposed to be the so-called face of boxing. Go in there and show us. And that goes for everybody. You know? You know how they always say, you can talk to talk. God damn it, walk the walk then. How about that? I'm good with that. Are you good? Are you good? No. No. It's just because he's scared. That's all. And like y'all said, most of you guys are bitches. That's why. You know, you only got a few real, real ones out there that will fight anybody at any given time. David Benavidez said, hell, just give me five men, I'll fight his ass. That's all he said. Because he said, when I beat his ass, I'll make the money up down the line. You know, I said, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Really? Then they ask Canelo this. They ask him the same shit I just told y'all. He said, no, no, no. I know everything. I know everything. And no, we did not make him no $5 million offer. You are a liar. You are a liar. I'm sorry. You know, he just don't want to. Huh? Now, I'm sorry, Canelo fans. I know that's y'all king, y'all hero, but y'all hero's a zero right now. You'd rather fight a man coming up two weight classes like Jamel Charlo, and then when you win, you say, huh, I'm the baddest man in boxing. No, you're not. You're the most cherry picker in boxing. You ain't fooling nobody. Come on. Then Terrence Crawford. Don't tell me he didn't think about it. Wow. Terrence Crawford, he four way classes. But oh, wait a minute. I don't know. Because what if he do win? You know, and no, no. Terrence is good. But uh, I bet not. 
no, 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 no. Because, see, Will County said so bad that he retired. That's why. So, so yeah. So he's looking for that closing out bag. All right, I call it closing out bag. There you go, Stevon. Yes, sir. Straight cherry picker. I call it closing out bag. And what that means is you closing out your career, but you going out with a big bang. All right, that big bang is what? That big bag. Shit. 200 million. You know what? There's some damn promoter trying to come up with it right now. I guarantee you that. Where BLK Prime at? Where they at? Where, where they at? <laughs> y'all ask to know y'all ain't got no money. All right, but I'm just saying. I mean, come on. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, 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 Trill. Uh, uh, Trey, I'm sorry, Trey Skill. Yeah, when he lost to Demetrius Bibble, he said, okay, you know what? Okay, that's it. All right, I lost to Floyd. I lost to Demetrius, right? Wait a minute, I ain't taking all these losses now. All right, now, how can I be the the, the, the best Mexican fighter that ever, that ever laced them up? All right, even Chavez, all right? You know, I'm so can I can't have all these losses on my record. So I got to be very careful who I fight. I got to be very careful who I choose. I got to be very careful who I cherry pick. And that's why he got Jaime Gear. But he didn't want Jaime Gear at first. He wanted Edgar Belango? What the, what, what the, what the, what the, what the, what? The, uh-uh. No, the zone said, no, you're not finna get over here and, and do another power grab. Uh uh, hell no. We got a different. Uh uh, we got different. We got a different plan for you. He went out that door so fast. Hey, he he didn't he didn't call from the car. He went to the phone booth. He went to the phone booth, right? They just got phone booth, right? <laughs> he said, "Damn, Al, you busy? Can I come over there for a minute?" And there he go. So. So Al Hay made him an offer that he could not refuse, if you know what I mean. He said, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody trying to make that happen. 100 million is too much to lose on one car. You damn right, Big Dre. Ain't nobody trying to make that shit happen. You know, I mean, I'm quite sure some people thought about it. Well, if we move this around, if we move some money around, hell, goddamn, if I go on my wife 401k, uh, maybe I move that around. Uh, 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 you know, uh, no, still, we about, I don't know, man, we about 50 million short, right? Man, if you don't sit your ass down, Canelo, shit, man, please. Man, let's just be honest. That fight ain't going to ever happen. Dave Benavides is going up to uh, super heavyweight, all right? That way it's going. Yes, sir. I hope we get to see Boots, Ennis, or Canelo on the card. You know, well, I hope so. I feel bad for Boots. I feel bad for Boots. You know, come on. I feel bad for Boots. Because Boots right now, he is so great, so good, that nobody wants to fight him. But see, this is where the government body step in at. We're going to strip your ass or you got to fight him. You know, which one it going to be? And most people say, hey, man, here, he can have this. You can have this damn belt. I don't want it. I don't want it. Come on. Now, I'm going to tell you one thing. Now, we already talked about the fight with uh, Tank and uh, uh, Frank. But what about Jaime and Canelo? What if Jaime Gill did come to fight? Because he he does have faster hands. Let's be honest. His hands are faster than Canelo. Canelo do have a chin. He got one of the best chins in boxing. But Jaime Gill can break him down. He got fast hands. He's young. He has a gas tank. Huh? What's up, Squilly? 
he said also Mayweather get uh, demanded big money, got uh, 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 demanded big money to fight non-boxers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Floyd Mayweather still get about three, four million for exhibitions and shit like that. Fighting guys that, that we don't even care about. Really. You know, so uh, uh, Floyd doing what Floyd does. He's staying relevant. He's staying relevant. He's still doing what he's supposed to do. And keep on, keep on making money. He blew a lot of money, but he also make it back, too. So, but Jaime Gear is going to give Canelo Everett a boxing lesson. You all will see that. Now, Canelo, he can act like he can boss all he wants to, like you try to do with Jamel. But you're not going to do that with Jaime McGill. He rolled with the punches. And he counter punches. Those are the facts. Huh? I'm just keeping it real. That's all. I'm just talking to y'all. Can I do that? Can I keep it real? Can I keep it, keep it, keep it real? Like I said once before, once again, listen. Javante Day and Frank Martin, that's a good fight, good choice by Frank Martin. That's no duck. Canelo Everett, he's a duck. He's a cherry picker. This ain't his first, and this probably won't be his last. He, I'm talking about, he old school at this shit. That's how good he is by cherry picking. And his fans, they all right with it. It don't bother them. We the only ones saying that he need to fight somebody. They don't care. His fans in Mexico, man, hey, as long as he fight and win, they don't care who he fight and win. That's how you look at it. That's how it is. No doubt about it. So, but it is what it is, y'all. You know? So, now, of course, uh, uh, now, uh, let me see here. Hold on. Oh, okay. Yeah. But anyway, uh, still in all, Ryan Garcia, uh, uh, Debbie Haney, that fight will happen, okay? Uh, Ryan is not dropping out that fight. He going to get a bag, a nice bag. So he going to make it happen. And he's trying to let you all know that he ain't going nowhere. And plus also, he said he'll sue the athletic commission trying to make him talk to them or evaluate him. He said, what happened to free speech? Because that's what he's saying that he does, you know, on, 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 on the internet. Free speech, which it is. That's all it is, free speech. All right? What's up, Skilly? Yes, yeah, sir. What's going on? He said, love the show, OG. Hey, appreciate it. All right? Man, love you, man. You all right? Yes, sir. JC said, OG, facts. Mexico will bag him. Yes, they will bag him. They don't care who he fights. They will bag him up. That's their padre. That's their king right now. They don't have nobody else. They're hoping he had passed the torch over to Jaime. So Jaime still got a fan base too right now. But, of course, Jaime still a little, a little milk is behind his ear a little bit. That's how I look at it. He's still not that Jaime year that we think he is. So, but these are not the only fights that we're going to break down. These are not the only fights that we're going to talk about. We got a lot of other fights that's going to happen. Look at Fondura. All right? Look at him and uh, 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 Tim Zhu. Now, I have no doubt in my mind, in my boxing mind, I think Tim Zoo gonna catch a Fondura. 
Everybody seen what he did to Ashton Lubin. It's a, oh man, Von Dur, man, he he did. no 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 no. Von Dur, y'all remember when that tower fell? I ain't talking about nine eleven. <laughs> no no no. Uh uh. Y'all remember when Von Dur went down 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 by Amelie Mendoza? All right, he went down down. I mean Timber. That's how it went. Well. The same thing gonna happen to him with Tim Zhu. Let 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 let, let me explain. Tim Zhu was a heavy puncher, very very heavy puncher, but he didn't have the footwork. But hold on, Sebastian don't have the footwork either. Now, of course, uh, Fondor, look how tall he is. Look how tall he is. And guess what? He likes to fight on the inside. What? He's standing at 6'6", 6'5"? Six, 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 Hell, 6'4". Six, and you is fighting on the inside? And see, that goes to show you. That goes to show you that Sometimes people try to give you the directions like your trainer and you don't listen. Now, if he wants this fight that bad, all you got to do is put that stick out there. Put that jab out there. He's going to either knock it down or go under or throw on top. Now, one thing about it, you want to climb that ladder and go up top with that right hand. Or you can punch it hard, a third hard, and while he holding that phone, you can hurt him with it. You know? Yes, 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 Rick. I know it's a fan-friendly fight, but it's not going to be so friendly when he get knocked out. That's what it is. Because Amazon Prime, they want to see some damn good fight. They want to see some blood. That's what they want to see. They want to see some blood coming. That's what they want. You know? So, I mean, it is what it is. But that's uh, Tim Zhu got dropped by Terrell Goucher. Oh, okay, that was Terrell Goucher dropped him. Okay. All right. I don't know why I said Mendoza. Don't know why. But anyway, still, you know, he got dropped. You know, so, but let's see. Let's see what Tim, uh, uh, let's see what uh, Tim Zoo brings to the table, you know. So, so that's how, I, that's how I see it, y'all, right? I see it like that, you know. Uh, 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 but Tim Zoo, you know, a uh, uh, good fighter. He's still young. Uh, 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 of course, he wants to separate himself. All right, big mistake for a long dude. Yes, sir, JC. I always said that. Why is he sitting there trying to fight on the inside? I'm talking about up in close quarters, in that booth. Why are you doing that when you can use that jab and control the distance on the outside? You know, and he don't, you know, and but he wants to engage. He wants to go in there and bang it out. So, but still and all, like I said, you know, and I'm not trying to talk about him, but he blind as a bat. He blind is a bat. Now what? He's supposed to go up there and, and go on the inside and fight because he can't see the punches on the outside? I don't know. But he didn't do something about it. He didn't do something about it, y'all. That's how I look at it. He didn't do something about it because cause he's still wearing, you know, he, he wears glasses, but hell, those glasses ain't helping. Shit. You know, those glasses are not helping at all. You know? So, but anyway, okay, I'm trying to get this move over here, my phone. Yeah, but anyway, uh, but still at all, you know, it is what it is, y'all. But um, but with that, man, any questions, any great thoughts on these fights, man, that's coming up? I mean, uh, 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 I think I think these are gonna be some great fights. 
I think PBC is going to bring out their big guns. And, and like I say, uh, with that Ryan Garcia, Devin Haney, I think they, they should scrap the fight and, and then start all over. Now, that's what I would do. You know, that's what I would do. Because, see, uh, uh, Brian gave that fight a bad taste. Now, it might sell, and Devin just won't get the credit that he deserves. Oh, he beat up a retarded guy. Oh, he beat up a, 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 a guy that was mentally challenged, a guy that had some problems, you know, things like that. But, of course, he still won't get paid. And, you know, I don't know if that's his ultimate goal or he just want to be great. But I'm going to tell you that, this. Ryan is the last of the Mohegans. In other words, he's the last big payday that anybody's going to get. Now, you can say what you want about Ryan, but he, he is one of the guys that sells also. He's not a great boxer. No, he's not. But he's a great marketing guy. He's a great marketing guy to represent your product. That's who Ryan is. You know? So, what's up, uh, Javon? 10 on 7. What's good with you, man? When you're on the receiving end of a KO uh, 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 of the year candidate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. JC, yeah, in my opinion, may, may do good pay-per-views. Yeah, in my opinion, may do good. Well, see, that's what I'm trying to say, JC. I said this yesterday. All right? I said this yesterday. I said, listen, this pay per view with Devin and Ryan. Now, the tickets, that's a scrap. All right? The tickets going to be the bump out of there. But the pay per views, it might do better than y'all think. Don't pay per view might do better than y'all think. Because, see, curiosity killed the goddamn cat. Because everybody, every casual fan, every Instagram, they want to know how Ryan going to be looking. They going to want to know, uh-uh-uh-uh-uh, uh-uh, is Ryan going to show up, for one, and then, for two, how he's going to be looking. Or, for three, is he going to be in a trance? Is he going to be a zombie as he walk into that rain? Y'all remember how Earl was looking, right? Okay. Well, how Ryan going to be looking, y'all? I just want to know. What you think about Ryan? How you think he going to be looking? You see? You know what I say? So that's, so, so that's what I'm looking at. You know? So, so that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Okay? So, but anyway, it's still, no, look. I think, I think they're going to do great. All right, Edward Morris, what's going on? He said Canelo is a paper champion. Well, yeah, I guess you can. You know, I guess I guess you can say he's a paper champion. You know, because hell, if you look on paper, you know, uh, he won this, he won that. But when you go into each one of them fights, you'll find out that each one of them fighters had a flaw. They was older. Or, 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 or they were two weight classes down. You know, things like that. So, of course, of course, Canelo's trying to keep it all together. The money, the prestige, the reputation he has. All that. So he can be the man in Mexico. That's all. That's all. And, that, and, that's, and that's who he is. That's what he does. That's who he is. You know? And, and, and no joke about it. I'm serious. That's who he is. You know? So, but hey, it's all good. It's all good, y'all. And listen, tonight, tonight, y'all, I will be on the Rise Podcast. If y'all want to check me out, come check me out. All right? Thank you all for your attention. Thank you all for coming in and smashing the like button. We still got 87 people in the building. Uh, thank you all on this great Thursday morning, well, now afternoon. 
Hope everybody have a great day. And like I said before, boxing is starting to heat up now. Yes, we do have another Zepeda fight this weekend. We got Jose Zepeda fight this weekend. So therefore, man, let's do it. Let's do it. Another fight night, baby. All right? So with that, I am KQ. KC Boxing Network. Go ahead and subscribe, JC, if you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and subscribe, anybody, if you haven't subscribed yet. All right, hit the notification bell. All right, that way you will get notified each and every time you go live. All right, what's up, everything boxing? What's good? He said, salute, KQ, KC Spence. Said, not, not, no, to Thurman again. I just dropped the video on it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I heard about it. Oh, yeah, Earl is sticking to his guns. Hell no. I spoke about it on uh, everything in Boston when I first uh, came on. Uh, look, Spence say, hey, you know, Earl, one thing about Earl, I sure hate to make him mad. Because that dude keep a grudge, and he sticks to his grudge. <laughs> For real. When he said, he said, God damn it. When I say no, God damn it, I mean no. <laughs> I thought you were just starting. Uh-uh, no. Nah. This time change got me messed up. <laughs> Can y'all like that? I thought you just started. Damn. Damn, this time. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, Key. I'm about to go off. He said, God damn, wait, 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 what day is it? <laughs> hey, Marty, hey, Marty, Marty McFly. Uh, <laughs> man, man, I'll tell you, I hate to get in his bad graces. I'm talking about, if I, I, I don't want to make Earl be like, man, I ain't fucking with you. And when he, when he say something like that, man, you be like, for real? Right? Because you know he stand on his shit, right? <laughs> yes, sir, everything. Yes, sir, time change. Now y'all two hours ahead of me. Yeah, well, you, well, no, everything. You jump up one or uh, two. You, your, your time jump up an hour, too. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Yeah, yeah, you jump up an hour, too, man. Yeah. Man, oh man, but uh, but but man, oh man, I mean Earl Spence, he crazy man. He will stick to his guns, man. It's eleven where I'm at. Okay, oh is it? Oh damn. Okay, it's one o'clock here. Okay, damn. Arizona, man. Wow. Wow, it's one o'clock here, man. One straight one on one. Wow, man. But man, what's up, Black All Day, man? Peace, man. Peace be unto you, brother. Yes, sir. Man, listen. I mean, it just it's just crazy, man. You know, Earl Spence sticks to his gun, man. And, and when he say he's gonna do something, he do it. He does it. And Keith, man, you might as well just give it up, man. He ain't gonna fight your ass. He ain't gonna forgive you. All right? Now, he might forget, but he ain't going to forgive. For real. You know, and sometimes the other way around. You know, hey, I'll forgive you, but I ain't going to forget what you did. Yeah? Yeah, Cali time. Salute. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Cali time. Yes, yeah, sir. California, baby. California. Hey. All right? But anyway, that's all KQ got for you all. Thank you all for coming in. Thank you all for your attention, like I said before. All right? Make sure you go check out everything boxing video. All right? Yes, sir. He dropped the video on Earl Spence and Keith Thurman. All right? Keith Thurman is ready to go. Him, he's ready to go to fight Earl Spence. But Earl Spence said, uh-uh, not so fast, Charlie. Uh-uh. Uh, what did I tell you last year and a year before that and many times before? All right, I am not fine, you dude. All right, so make sure y'all go check out that video. But in the meantime, oh, in the meantime, don't forget to check out Upper 
upper echelon. He's coming up next with Kyle Alexandria. All right, make sure y'all go show him love. Make sure y'all show him love. And on your way out, man, make sure you hit the like button. All right, make sure you hit that like button. All right, man, if you haven't subscribed once again, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and also uh, hit the notification bell. All right, if you're not getting notified, turn it off, turn it back on. And that way, you know definitely you will get notified. All right, and with that, I am KQKC Boston Network, and you know me. You know how I do it, baby. Man, oh, man, I am living, 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 living it up. So with that, have a good one, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace and love. This song is dedicated to all those ballers out there and all those hustlers. And just people out there just getting their money on, you know what I'm saying? To all of you haters, just remember this. I'm living it up, y'all. Just remember that I'm coming up in life.